Okay guys, so today I am in a very uh, interesting place. So this is a uh, quite powerful energy vortex. So you can see there is a few small hills here. So um, also I found the um, uh, some fly garrick here. So and the uh, basically the small introduction about this, you know, the fly garricks and those kind of fungus or mushrooms. So there's lots of interpretation why those mushrooms needs to be eaten, you know, to experience some weird experiences, you know, to, um, you know, to intoxicate yourself basically with those kind of um, substances. But in fact, uh, you know, the color of the mushroom is red, so you can see that uh, it's like, you know, red flag. So it's just explaining that, you know, there is something happening here. And here, for example, it's very powerful vortex. So there's a small mountain here. So normally the mountains, you know, or the stones, uh, they brought to, you know, expand the vortex energy. So uh, basically the mushrooms like this, you know, they're very powerful in terms of enhancing energy, uh, you know, expanding vortex to making it so powerful. And uh, they are like a small indicators, you know, there is a red color to make sure you can see them. So obviously, I don't know whether this is my only explanation, I believe so, because I never heard, you know, theory or option, you know, why uh, fly agarics are there. So obviously I'm not discussing why they're in uh, bio, you know, natural function. So why, why are they for? But I'm just saying that, you know, this is the main reason uh, from the energy field, I think they're considered to be important. So they, you know, they're like a small channels of the energy which are around. So at the moment I'm here, you know, in a very powerful vortex, we're going to do the small meditation in the next videos. I'm sorry, guys, the video um, could be, you know, breaking up in two or split in two because of my memory span in, in a device I'm using. But I uh, hope you're not going to find it inconvenient if you, you know, do the prep before. So, yeah, so I decided just to do a small meditation here uh, and quite powerful vortex in, in, in a forest. So, and, you know, to give more channel for the fly agaric consciousness. I do believe that will be interesting for everyone who's, uh, you know, um, practically has no any level, you know, beginner's level in meditation or in this kind of meditation, which I'm giving quite specific. So uh, it's just changing of the consciousness meditation or anyone who is intermediate or advanced will find this really useful. So uh, I personally don't know who can channel to the fungus, you know, channel to the mushrooms. So I believe um, uh, this is quite also um, powerful and quite exciting um, meditation sort of practice so you can try it you know to add to your meditation arsenal and stick up to the channel so videos will be next to this one so you can find it in my history in the channel so yeah uh just um we'll wait to see you guys thank you okay and now we're going to do the practice practice meditation on the vortex space of the fly garrick um, also, this is very powerful vortex, as you've been able to see in a previous video, I discussed that and more. So, at the moment, just try to find a quiet place, where no one can disturb you for at least 15 minutes or more. Uh, you can sit down in a lotus pose, you know, or you can just cross your legs. You can sit down on a sofa, but try not to make the sofa very soft, so maybe find a chair. Um, ideally, hold your back straight. Um, try to make sure there is no big strain in your back, so not too straight, not too forward. You know, no, don't lean, don't lean too much forward, don't lean too much back. So just find a comfortable position. And now we start. So just before we progress, uh, the main aim of this meditation is just to you know channel the higher consciousness of fly garrick and you know to understand its true purpose and also uh, this meditation will powerfully work on your heart chakra uh, which is you know your heart center here and also it will work on your obviously the higher chakras here and uh, it will clean up uh, intentionally or unintentionally also the uh, second chakra so this meditation also is very good for materializing your wishes fulfilling your dreams um, as far as I can channel this information. Um, so yeah, let's start now. So at the beginning, we relax. 
so we're trying to relax our legs relax our feet try to feel the connection between the legs and between your grounding so wherever you are so there is a ground there is a floor there is a mother earth basically so we're connecting our legs and our first chakra which is you know uh, the uh, uh, the very bottom of the spine so try to connect that with the earth so imagine there is a powerful energy coming from the earth through your legs and it end up in the sacral chakra or root chakra breathing hold your breath a little bit and breathe out once more breathe in and breathe in the heart and deep energy from the center of the earth to your legs through your first chakra hold it a little bit and breathe out I can even feel the energy feels so it's itchy it's very itchy so I feel everywhere so the energy is quite powerful so I can even feel it in, 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 in my eyes everywhere and breathe out so what we're gonna do next so we relax in all our body now so moving to the legs the leg should be relaxed if not then try to release your knees release your hips now moving to the back so lower part of the back spine pull the back then uh, abdominal area below and above so all the belly area especially center of the belly is relaxed now move into the heart center to the chest so relaxing our chest relaxing our back you know higher part of the back the shoulders left shoulder relaxed right shoulder relaxed right arm is relaxed the palm is relaxed left arm is relaxed the palm of your left le arm is relaxed so your left arm fully relaxed elbows are relaxed on both arms breathing again continue breathing breathe in and breathe out so we relaxed all the rest of the body till the throat area so we enhance the energy in this area so we're breathing in from the center of the earth and breathing it through our legs till our second chakra which is low abdomen breathing out once more breathing in and now we're feeling the upper abdomen body spine relax and breathing out now we enter in the heart chakra so we're breathing from the legs from the center of the earth from the mother's energy with a full chest hold it there hold it there as much as you can no pressure but try to do as much as you can and then breathe out you can breathe out through your mouth which is more powerful you can breathe out through your nose you can also make the sound like releasing sound or and once more we're breathing out the energy from the others and through the older chakras up to the heart level we hold it there breathing out to the center of this okay now we're relaxing our throat we're relaxing our traps which is here we're relaxing our shoulders fully you know all the joints here we relax in full spine from the you know the root chakra to our neck we're relaxing our neck once more it's becoming soft you can rotate it a little bit now we're relaxing our face you can move the face a little bit you can move your mouth as much as you need to just to relax the lips nose chin 
your eyebrow, your third eye here, which is here. It can be low, it can be higher. Relaxing here. Relaxing our forehead. Relaxing our, our head. Scalp. Our whole head. And we relax until the seventh center here. We can feel this very relaxed here, which is the seventh chakra, crown chakra, or Sahasrara, whichever easier for you. And now we're breathing in and we're coming. Our, when our breath is in, we're coming up to this center, if it's possible. If it's not, you should be much higher than here, so at least the throat or the forehead. So again, the breathing in. Energy comes from the center through our legs. Up, 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 all the centers, second chakra, third chakra, heart chakra, throat, and eyebrow. For me, it's only eyebrow. Hold it here, and breathe out. Energy goes down again to the mothers. Okay, we'll do it once more. Up to the seventh chakra. Breathe in from the earth, coming up to the seventh chakra. If you got it right, your energy will be pumping here or around here, so you feel it that your consciousness is here. And breathing out again. We try to do the third attempt, breathing in the energy from the earth up to way through the body. Hold it there. Breathe out. So now, after all this completed, we're going to channel the cosmic energy from our seventh chakra. And while we're going to do that, I will give you more explanation and guidance because we're connected to the quite powerful vortex here. So energy will be amplified. And then we're going to do the meditation in depth. So you can start closing your eyes if you didn't close it yet. Or you can just be very relaxed and half close your eyes. So we continue breathing, breathe in. Breathe out. And now we're asking the place, and you know, whichever place you are at, so try to connect to the positive vortex of your place, or to positive energies, you know, to the higher entities, and try to help them, uh, you know, by doing this meditation, you're helping them, and try to connect to them so they will be able to guide you as well and protect you and give you more powerful vibes and powerful vibrations during the meditation. So, breathing in, try allowing to energy to move through our body. Breathe in, breathe out. So now we open in the seventh chakra. and energy will flow. Also, there is a very powerful flow in the central chakra, uh, I mean, on our third chakra, which is the abdomen chakra, you can feel it as well. Okay, so now we're ready, and we're asking the, our guidance and helpers of the, of the local vortex, whichever you are in now, whichever country, whichever place you are in now, to connect us. As again, energy is very strong, that's why it's itchy. So, we're trying to connect to make the powerful meditation of the fly garlic to connect to the various civilizations, you know, to enhance the experience of this meditation. And then you may experience various sensations while traveling to different dimensions, while connecting to your higher self, receiving the answers to various questions, and also breathe in, breathe out. And also when you're fully connected, you may ask to 
your dreams to be fulfilled, to materialize all your positive dreams and wishes. At the current time, we are connecting more. Energy is now very powerful, so we channel a little energy from the high ball from our head, which is even higher than our seventh chakra, which is higher than us, maybe up to one meter, down to us. So energy flow is just going down to the Mother Earth, through our bodies, through our feet, and then through our feet, all the way up to our seventh chakra in higher. So this is the full loop we have in now. Now we fully connect it. Just continue breathing. This is a continuation of the practice. So now we are fully connected. We continue breathing. So now when the energy is very strong, we just sit in this energy and once we fill the full loop, so energy coming from the above our head, all the way down to the body, to all the chakras of the body, and then going down to our feet and below to the Mother Earth, and then from the Mother Earth, it's going all the way up through our body, up to the seventh chakra and higher, so we feel in the loop. So while we're in the loop, we're connecting to the vortex, and we're in the process of the meditation. So now we're ready to ask to fulfill our dreams, any materialistic, non-materialistic, and other positive wishes, so we can do that. Thanking all the higher beings now, you can also stay in meditation. You can feel our heart chakra expanded, our third chakra expanded. We can definitely feel the much higher consciousness expanded. So you can continue in meditation even if it's finished or you can go back to your body. So on the count of 10, you can go back. One, two, three, you come into the body. Four, you feel your body. Five, you can stretch it a bit. Six, you're ready to wake up. Seven, you're half awake. Eight, nine, you're almost awake. And 10, you're fully awake, you can come back to the body, you can stay in meditation or you can rest, you can come back.